This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends and welcome to BISPtrainings.com. I'm Neeraj and today I'm going to teach you how to perform advanced data massaging, data cleansing and transformation on your raw data. We would be using Python Pandas library to perform various data massaging and transformation. We would do various data cleansing and filtering technique as well. As you see in diagram, in order to do any kind of data massaging, data analytics or pattern analytics or apply any kind of machine learning the bottom line is that your data has to be in a clean format the data which you extract from your source system may not be comply with your requirements your customer required and therefore the step one is always to massage your data okay so let me show you the requirement first in today's example as we did in the previous couple of examples we have a semester data and we are going to perform various kind of various kind of data massaging filtering and cleansing activities in order to be ready for the future data analytics task so today we have multiple erp source files these are flat files and our objective is to transform apply various data cleansing techniques transform these files and massage these multiple files and convert it to a single file. The example I have taken, it has two flat files as only. In a subsequent session, I'll show you how to bring data from various sources like Facebook, Excel, uh, your commercial product like Salesforce, Google Analytics. For various sources, we'll bring data and apply various kind of data massaging techniques and data cleaning technique using Pandas, Python Panda library, and bringing our data into meaningful format. Let's understand today's requirement. So I have got two data files from my customer and this data file. I kept it under data from business. These two source files are extracted from homegrown ERP system. And these are my sample data. So I got two data files from two different entities or legal entities, Australia and USA. And uh, my object is to perform various data cleansing and combine these two files into a uniform file format. In order to do any kind of analytics, that has to be in a one file in a uniform format. Okay. So keeping these two files open, we'll see what we need to perform in this. I've listed out the list of activities to be performed. Step one, I read data from multiple flight files. I define delimiter, whatever it is. In our example, it is a pipe delimiter. And I'm going to perform these transformation tasks. Let me read go through them one by one and explain you practically in my flat files. So I need to perform data type change because if you look at your data file, your data file is not in consistent manner. Probably if you find it difficult to read, I can convert this file into column format. You can use data text to column. If you're going to be a data scientist or you want to be specialized into data analytics and data massaging, you ought to be extremely good at Excel. So Excel is skill one should be good at Excel. Okay. So if you look at this, my order date is not in right format. My sales is a string format. Probably you don't see over here. It is actually string. So, you know, I need to convert sales from string to numeric format. The couple of data transformation tasks we perform. So we are changing data type. So numbers, all sales, major operating expenses, these are facts or major, they should be numeric type. We would also exclude some unwanted column. There are a couple of unwanted column I have, which I do not need for analysis. We also need to perform parsing on data, on date, order date. So order date is, you see, it's an inconsistent format, right? So we need to pass this order date into one uniform format. Then a couple of three additional tasks we are going to perform. We write back this data, to our text file but before that we need to ensure that we don't have any duplicates there are a couple of duplicates in our data file and they are null values so if you look at our another data file let me convert into again from simple flat file to excel meaningful format you find over there there are null values in cities right similarly there are duplicate records so all these problems exist when you extract data from you know, your source system and you don't have an intermediate data massaging layer. So we are going to remove duplicates. 
we are going to remove duplicates and non value and finally we want to filter records based on certain criteria in this example we have got multiple cities however for some cities that there is no transaction why because some cities or the business entities are sunset they are not in operation and therefore i want to exclude them from my analytics i don't want them to be included into my system so i'll simply filter out in my source itself therefore my subsequent analytics would be simple right so these are couple of tasks we need to perform now let's open this ppt and open the code and try to read the code line by line so step 1 let me clean all my variable value first and i'll also be cleaning my console i'm using python spider i like this id you can use the same or you can use your favorite id so step 1 you're bringing we are importing python library python panda library step second i'm reading data from my flight file so these are my two flight files i just now shown you order details from australia order details from usa so this is a part of the, my flight file first argument second argument i define a delimiter which is pi third argument my sales it is string types i'm converting into integer then i need to define the list of column which you want to read whatever column you do not want to read you can simply skip them out and we are translating date into date format date is not in a date format and if you have an, a dot you want to replace with null value with question mark and so on the next important thing i created a variable over here called vcts when you execute this code you can see the value of the variable vcts and vct has a value called sunnyvale so we have data from multiple cities but i want to filter out or display only data which meet the criteria this is my criteria the variable name is sunnyvale and if you see this variable i used in a vct is the name of variable we use a function called is in right it is same as in statement new select query so i like to display those cities which are given a variable but i use negate operator over here right it means not in sunnyvale the condition is going to be like that city not in sunnyvale right that's how you interpret this so if you look at your data file uh you have data for sunnyvale but you say not in it means you bring only new york data right that's your first criteria you can see it over here you don't have data for sunnyvale you have data only for new york this is your first condition then second condition we have got some null values in my data file which i want to eliminate see in my city we have got null value i want to eliminate total we have got 22 records but when you process them you can count over here there are only nine records because you remove sunnyvale data and a null value in addition to this you also have you can see a count over here size 98 in addition to this we also added duplicate records so there are duplicates in countries i can simply use a duplicated function so we remove duplicated records so in the bottom you see there are a couple of records are duplicated you know these are duplicate records so you may also have duplicate record system is going to filter it out so you see we combined three conditions we wanted cities to be available according to the variable value so i do not want sunnyvale data i do not want null values and i do not want duplicate record so i use an and operator and combine multiple filter expression right and the output is going to store back to your sop data usa i apply this filter criteria for usa flat file you could have apply similar or filter condition for the data file as well then i'm going to use over here concat function from my panda library object pd.concat and it takes two argument or it may take two three four argument depends upon number of files you have so in this example if you got two file australia sales order processing data for australia sales order processing data for usa and this these two file would be combined and stored in a variable call all country data and eventually we are using two csv file to write this data back to my text file so once you analyze once you perform cleansing transformation filter you write this final data back to your data file call all countries or csv right so when you save it when you execute this file you find 
at this location you have all country data which is this location this is my transform data file right now we have all countries let me delete this file and when I execute this code i would have data transformation massage combine these two files into a single file let me run this code i can run this code from here or you can also run this code from this location when you just simple click on this the code would be executed so let me go to this folder and filter by so this is my file name join multiple tables double click on this you can execute from here as well and this file gets executed and as a result of this your both files got combined and this is your outcome so now we have a list of all countries remove duplicates remove or include certain cities or exclude certain cities transform your data includes few column transform your data order date convert your sales into numeric type and use operating expenses now i can use this file this is a structured file i can use this file for advanced analytics so step one we crossed once you have done all this step what is next the next line up is we want the whole process what i all i have shown you i want to parameterize them so wherever we use constant i'll pass them variable and my the code would be dynamic so the file name what transformation you want to apply how many files you want to combine what is the filter criteria everything i would pass them as an argument this argument i'll pass through web browser right so i would be creating a web browser interface where i'm going to pass this argument and click on process all transformation will take place automatically and once i have a final data file i would be doing applying certain predictive analytics on top of that or maybe i can apply some machine learning algorithm on top of that and do some advanced data exploration right so this is what we're going to talk in the subsequent session for now i'm going to stop over here any questions are welcome i'll be putting this video the source code and the final output and data file into the shared location thanks for watching this video you can visit bsptrainingsolutions.com for further details thank you